Hello everyone, welcome. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you're having an awesome day. I'm going to be putting together today the Sleeping Flower Bunny from Kadoodlebug Designs. I put him, processed him, cut him, whatever you want to put it at as the height of five, uh, excuse me, the height from Cricut Design Space at 7.65, the width at 5.773. I'm putting him on an A2 card, uh, so that's the size, and I know some of you like to know this size. I will actually be uh, sharing the card with you when I get it finished, right? And I'll put it in uh, probably on Facebook. So go ahead and get started. Um, I apologize, I'm not able to give you colors really, simply because I'm using scraps. I, uh, I just have to finish using, or I have to use up scraps. I just, I can't buy any more paper. Not for any you know, financial reasons. It's not so much that. It, there's some other things that, yeah, I just need to start. And just be a little more frugal. Or just start getting rid of things, I guess I'll say. Hmm. Printed off the screenshot of this, which I don't normally do. I usually just work from my photo, but the the leaves on here kind of threw me off. So I just wanted to really uh, make sure I know what I'm looking at here or doing. So, and believe me, this might be a little bit of a challenge this time. And usually they're not. I, I never really have problems, but um. It's just lately getting out of bed is a getting out of bed is a challenge. So, and you guys, I have to laugh. I'm sorry. It's nothing. I'm I'm not complaining. It's just if I don't laugh some days, you know, can't laugh at myself. Who can I laugh at? Really, no one. So, okay. Uh, oh, no wonder I can't see. I had the wrong glasses on. Goodness. While I have this ear on, and this is going to be, because there's going to be greens going over that, and over the pink in the ear, I'm going to put the ear, that part on right away. And there's not a lot of gap that I can see. Uh, let's see. I take that back. See, I've not put this together. This is a free file from Kadoodlebug Designs this week. Uh, it is Saturday, March 30th, 2024. And I just grabbed the file. And honestly, I think this is my punishment for not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Well, technically, so. Um, but yeah, this pink piece is going to just basically just pretty much butt right up along the side of the aft, uh, ear here, okay? I'm going to grab something. I thought I had it. Give me just a moment, please. Okay, I had to get a um, a brush out. And I shouldn't say I have to, I should be doing something else. It's not that I have to be, but I should be getting my stuff ready for Easter, the little bit I have to do for tomorrow. But, uh, you know, it's all fine. But I'm just going to put some white in here. Now, I don't think I shared the video. I think I just, just destroyed it. But I uh, over inked my ink pad a little bit. And so, I have to be careful what I'm doing with that. Okay, so we have the ear on. I'm just trying to figure out where we're going next with pieces. We're going to put the other ear on. And you know, I didn't dry piece it or anything, so we're just, if it doesn't turn out, you guys will never see the video. That's kind of been my theory lately. I hope everybody's having a good day. It's a uh, That's not been too bad this morning so far. 
got out of bed so that's uh, always in my world that's always all that matters right get up and get going get the day started I saw this file I don't know if it was I think this morning I don't think it was last night I don't know I lose track of time thought it was so cute I've got to get a, a, a card out in the mail to my aunt I like to send her cards quite often, but I'm really lax about it. So I wanted to get her a card out. And then I go on the, the website and for Cadoodlebug Designs, and I saw the, the little boots with the flowers in it. I thought, no, I got to quit for a little bit, but I'll be back. I'll have to have that too sometime. That's I'm terrible with SVB files. I am on the Cuddly Cute Designs design team, but I love working with a bunch of different designers' files. It's not just one in general, so. Okay, let's see. I got my greens, you probably see them in different, two different colors. I have this one and then I have this solid color. I had about probably that many different greens, so I could have cut my leaves all in different, or the grass all in different colors. And then I decided, you know what, that's going to be a little too busy. So I, um, I did tone it down a bit, just stuck with two. Let's see if this is it. I'm just kind of trying to fit these in. And we'll see how it looks with two. I don't know. I, I just haven't decided. If I don't like it, well, file 13, right? At least you'll know how to put it together. But I like to experiment also, so. I have found, and I was watching a video this morning, I've been asking for Deb, Deborah from Deb, Deborah Lee Crafts. I'll get that right, Deb. Um, I've been asking her to share her Easter treat boxes that she'd made with me and she did do that well she had one that she'd made a rabbit from computable designs and it was in gray and then she had some that were a little bit darker brown and I agreed with her I liked the brown much better and even doing these I like the brown better than the, the grays I don't know I just love this color rabbit I guess better but I'm uh, trying to think where I want to go next with some of this. I think we're going to kind of have to go with the head pretty much. So I'm going to figure out where we're going to put it because I'm not 100% sure. Um, let's see. Got the, excuse my reach of my hands and stuff. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out where I was going to put the parts on the head first, right? And then attach it. I think I'm going with stick with this, okay? Uh, put the head on first. Um, and then we'll put this on. And what I'm looking at here, okay, and I want to make sure that this, like his cheek part, we're going to add this middle part to it, but that the, the cheeks part of it, it's going to cover up this, put this on here a little bit, this area in here, okay, so it will, and so we're going to have to move this over just a little bit. And we might actually have to uh, it's straight um like I said I have not put this together so we'll figure it out together and then what I'm gonna do is figure out the flowers okay uh, and you know these are always interesting for me too but I think I got a plan for them this time. But I'm just kind of figuring this out. Okay. 
I should have dry pieced this, but now you'll get to see how my weird thinking is sometimes. What I'm doing is I'm going to share a little story with you. Uh, yesterday, I, I, for many, I don't know if you know, I have to have some help come in uh, now, just do some light housekeeping and a few things for me. And my great niece has so graciously, um, one of them, she, she so graciously offered to come and help me. And bless her heart, I just, uh, she came over yesterday, she was here. And just thinking here a moment. She was telling me she had to stop at the store uh, on her way to her father's so she could get Easter candy to put by her family's, her siblings, to her Saturday night so they would get them Sunday morning. And she said, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. She said she had thought about having me, you know, make some treat containers, but we don't live in the same town, and sometimes, you know, she's a kid, life gets in the way. And so, anyway, she just, it just melted my heart that she was wanting to do this for her. Her uh, brothers and sisters, she's just going to put them in little bags. She'll probably find some cute little Easter treat bags at the uh, store she's going to. But I just, you know, she's not, she's not real, real young. I shouldn't say that, but she's not terribly, terribly old yet either to be doing this. And it just, it really melted my heart that she, uh, she wanted to do that for them. She was all smiles, you know, and just... The things that she loves to do for others. I just am so proud of her. It's going to get covered up. We're going to go with it. Uh, I'm going to leave the flower for now and work on the face. Because that everything else is going to basically go around the face. So sorry to take so much time. Just fast forward through some of that. Okay. Now I'm going to put this on. I'm just going to set it there for a moment. I'm not gluing. I'm gluing this round piece. It goes on top. And get the nose. Now the nose, I did the loops for the uh, whiskers. Maybe you can see it better this way. Okay. I don't cut the loops until I'm all done because otherwise I have loops. I mean, I have thread everywhere. It's just easier for me to work that way. So this would be really, really cute if you popped the nose up. In fact, what the heck? <laughs> I decided postage, excuse me. Um. I end up having to pay extra postage or non-machinable anyway, so I might as well just put it on. And you know, I thought I'm at a point where um, looking for scissors, good grief. I'm kind of at the point that I know what parts cost in the store, and I don't buy store-bought card sometimes a birthday card but now on my glimmer machine I don't do that but really is it so much to spend a little bit to send make somebody smile for the day um, I think I've said before it amazes me um, my nieces my nieces my aunts love getting cards these cards my sister she says she does. I think she does. <laughs> anyway, um, and I have a girlfriend that she asks me to make cards quite often for her. She gets a stash, and I love to do it for her. She sends them to friends. She sends them to her grandkids. I mean, you know, it, it just warms my heart that people do that. I just think it's awesome. It's just, 
my aunt will comment. She does to me, but she comments to my mom quite often too. When they talk, my mom will say something that you know, my aunt got her card, and she just she just loves it that you know that I do that for. Her. And I'm thinking, well, it's just I don't know. It's just what I like to do. It's uh, I like to brighten other people's days. Sadly, I don't get enough of it done, but now I'm bringing his, his, uh, I call them his cheeks, parts of his cheeks, whatever. I'm bringing those down a ways here. That eye is not going to stay quite that angle, I'm sure. I'm just kind of pacing things here. Okay, well, it's pretty close, but let's just... Now you can see why I don't cut the, the loops. Um, we're going to put this on, because uh, I would have loops everywhere. So, these are a little bit further apart. A little bit angled. Uh, let's see, what do I have here? I'm going to do one more thing. Try to get them straight. Trying to get them as far apart, you know, somewhat even that direction. Let's see. Not sure what color I want to use on here. So, I I think I told you. Did I start to tell you? I don't know. I, I start concentrating what I'm doing. And I apologize. I forget to finish my sentences. I'm starting to transition away from some of the inks I've been using. Uh, this color is Memento Toffee Crunch. I think it got four or five Memento uh, Cat's Eye in a um, package. And I really wanted the Toffee Crunch. That's what I was going for, okay? And um, so then I ended up getting all of those. I use... Uh, I think I've got three or four different types of ink brands that I use. But like I said, some I'm transitioning away from. And the only reason I have this one, like I said, is because I wanted that specific color. So, yep, that's what. Sorry for that crunching noise. I am I thought I was prepared and all of a sudden I am finding... Changing my mind as I go, is that the word, I'm, what I'm trying to say? Changing my mind of how I'm going to detail things. So, this one I can't get into the lid. I'm just going to put down there a little bit. And what I'm using this for is to go around the eyes a little bit. And I'm just using a three millimeter pom pom. Okay. And this is going to be very, very light. I don't want it real, real dark here. I'm doing this instead of pan pastels. I might come back with some pan pastels yet if I don't like this. I can usually find a way to fix things, uh, but I didn't want a dark black, ooh, ooh, dark gray or black on here. And I, so far I don't. I'm not sure. I'm not liking this either, so I might be coming back with uh, the gray. Like I said, I experiment quite often with what I'm doing, so. Yeah, I don't like that. I gotta get this off of there a minute. I'll have it and everything. So, I'm gonna this. Let's see. So now you guys have fully grasped that 
I change my mind frequently. Okay, this might actually be okay. In my mind, I want to say that the, uh, that little bit of like the toffee crunch toned it down a little bit. But that's what I'm going to stick with. I've been working on a lot of Christmas, starting to get some Christmas uh, projects together. Not only cards, but um, a lot of treat holders and stuff. I really do want to do um, as much, as many treat containers as I can this year for my neighbors. Maybe something very, well, you know, small. But just something to brighten everybody's day a little bit. Some people, my, some of my neighbors, you know, don't have family close by or don't have family anymore at all. So some of them are elderly. I'm going to, I have to figure out how I'm going to do it. But um, there's a gentleman in our building that lives here. And I hadn't seen him for a while. And I asked him, I said, Sam, and I said, how are you doing? What, what have you been up to? And he's one of those that he keeps to himself. He's very, he's always very nice to me. People really kind of make fun of him. And I always get a chuckle out of him. And he turned around at me. He was kind of walking out the door. And I, and he, I thought he didn't hear me at first. Looking for my pen. Shit moment. I forget I don't have everything out. I'm so sorry. And he turned around and he looked at me and I, he had this awful look on his face. I thought he was mad that I asked him that. Cause like I said, everybody seems to pick on him so bad and just really make fun of him. And all of a sudden, just in the blink of an eye, he, he just almost started chuckling. And he said, I've been hiding. And he, I, just to know the man, but I thought, I have to figure out, oops, wrong pen should pay attention to what I'm doing. I have to figure out what I can make for him for a little treat container and put something, I'll make him a card and say something about Santa's watching or um, I think what I might do, I, I don't know if it's still on the website from uh, Little Scraps of Heaven Designs, but there's a, I think it's I Was Framed, Dear Santa, I Was Framed, or something like that. I think I'm going to figure out something with that. If I make the card from that, or for, for that, and just put a little joke saying inside, he will get it. I mean, he, he just is that kind of character, but it's just little things like that. Um, You know, well, it's your racers right here. They... People, I got so tired of when I worked, people would always say, simple things for simple minds or small things for small minds. I don't know how exactly it was. And I'm like, no, I just enjoy making other people laugh. And it's not all about, you know, you don't have to go all out for things. And I, I don't know. It's just, but it was just too humorous. So I really have to figure out what I'm doing for him. I just... I'm really paying attention to what I'm doing. I'm just talking and I haven't uh, been on for a bit. I'm sorry. I could creep. I can spend more time in a day either on the phone with doctors, pharmacies, or uh, I, I just are going to medical visits. It's so, um, it's been kind of, kind of crazy. So, I think I need to put this up. It's not going to come down too far. Let's see. I'm just, it's got glue on it, but it's not pressed down. So what I'm going to do is take, let's see, does this one go here? No. 
one big one goes here. That one's too big, that's the problem. Here we go. These have see these have specific ways of going on there, so I wondered why I um, so just trying to figure this out. This one This shouldn't be this hard constants. <laughs> Duh. Good grief. Okay, and then there's two, three. I'm going to put this up just a tad. Let's see which one goes here. There's, I'm going to leave it. We're just going to go with this, okay? So anyway, these are things I like to do for, um, just to have fun for people, you know. Um, when I was working, I had a manager that was just, he was a hoot. We, we had a lot of fun, our whole team did. I mean, we worked nights and so it was pretty much relaxed. And we, uh, I don't know, we were talking one night, it wasn't real busy, and he said something about, I used to make cupcakes and then a cream cheese filling, and then the, telling him something we did to my sister one time with cookies, and then we, we told him, you know, he liked to cook and stuff, and told him, well, you know, just make these cupcakes, but with, instead of putting just a regular cream cheese, get like some salmon flavored cream cheese, you know, or something put in there. It's just humorous things we just, I enjoy playing tricks on people. But people, like my relatives, I don't, I don't do food tricks on, on people, like my neighbors and things. That, that just, uh, that wouldn't be very nice, but. But the card, I think, would be fun for him. He just, he's a little, like I said, older gentleman, and we'll just, I do some each thing, so what can you say? Just like to have a little entertainment sometimes. Well, good grief, I must have washed my brushes again and forgot. I don't know some days what if I should get out of bed maybe I should just stay put gonna get some stuff for its cheeks then of course I move some of my sponges around in my case so I gotta figure out what colors are what now it's hard to explain on camera, or, you know, yeah, but I'm using a circular motion, obviously, but very light touch because my sponge, or my brush here, I think, has more ink on it than I am hoping, and it's ink, it's not, it's not chalk, so... It's not coming off very easily if I put too much on. Now I'm going a little bit harder because I know I don't have much on. There's not a lot on brush, so. I have, uh, what do I say? I have chalks and stuff, but, oh, just a minute. There went my, oh, sure. Um, I don't like the colors I have, so I really, I've started using more actual ink. And that pen's not working, it's going to get ditched. I... find that... my 
jelly roll pens work much better when they're not in uh, chalk, so okay. Well, let's see what we can manage to do here. I'm going to work on the top part up here, okay? So what I'm doing, I'm going to take Sorry this is taking too long. I really didn't know if it would or not. I had a feeling though it might just because of the well, for one thing, the flower, and then the grass there, the way it's on there, so. All right, let's see. I don't want to put that down. I don't have any temporary glue with me here. Um, I am just going to put a tiny speck on it. It'll be okay. Trying to get it on there. Okay, well, it's not going to stay, but that's fine. Let's see. This is definitely the middle piece, and this is going just a little bit, not quite center, so I'm good there. Once I get this one and now I'm going to put the, where it is, I'm going to put the other side on and it's going, it's that part of the ear, the top part is going to show, okay? So, and it's basically touching with right over here on the side. So, get that in, and then I'll put the other four in. On, however, I want to say it. And then it's easier for me to judge to put those on. This is, I don't know, I think it'd be beautiful for a little baby scrapbook layout, uh, any kind of spring layout. I just think it's really a cute file. Um, I just got the, one of the newer, could uh, of totally cute designs files that I'm going to work on too. I just... Not sure what I'm doing. I have a pretty good idea, but you know, my plans change easily. All I'm doing is butting it up so that little bit in there, just to, like the top third or so, is coming together for it. And then this, and they all kind of, they're, they're not all, um, Gonna lay right against each other, okay? You can see that on the on the f uh, file. They're a little bit spread out. Mm -hmm. This is really, really precious. I just love this. Oh my goodness! And I'm not a pastel person. I don't know if you guys know that, I just not, but there's something about the colors of this that really came together really nicely. Um, I do know my pink is blush, and for the life of me, I have been looking and looking. This paper was gifted to me a long, long time ago. That's all I can say, but I don't know the name of it, and don't know where it's from. Just getting a glue dot up here, and I wish I knew because I'm trying to find some, and I, it's, 
You probably can't see it real well, but it's kind of a cross between a mm, taupe and like a gray. It's, I, I don't know what to, to call it even. And I've been looking and I just can't find it. I looked at um, basil almond cream and it's that's about the closest I can get. But it's still got a little bit of a smoke color to it that it's just the almond doesn't have. So I'll keep looking. I'll find something eventually. I just happen to love it for bunnies. It's just the perfect, for me, the perfect color. Okay. It's slowly coming together. Let's put the circles up. I'll do the easy things. The circles on the eyes, right? I do my videos in real time. I don't edit them. I'm lucky to get videos up. I just, uh, you know, anymore, I do what I can. These flowers remind me of uh, Sakura's cherry blossoms. I just realized that. Okay, so now is going to be the interesting part. Um, did I decide this one goes... Nope, this one goes here. Which one? I got it. Maybe this one? These I'm going to have to dry piece because there's no way I'll figure out what's going wrong. One goes here. Let's figure out that one. Is it? And it's going behind, so. But I don't want to lay anything down yet because. Oh. Uh, said I don't know where things going. And then there's the paw, and there's a flower in here. Let's figure out this piece. Um, I think maybe, yep, that one fits there. Okay, then there's one in front of it. And is it not that one? Maybe this one? Aha. Okay. This one is going to go back here then. I'll put that one on. People wonder why I liken this to putting a puzzle together or doing surgery. Surgery was when I was em machine embroidering more but I liken this to doing uh surgery and they just look at or to make it putting a puzzle together and they just laugh at me it's just basically no different to me this one goes here and oh, yep okay we can put this one on hey this is coming together if you've stuck it out with me this long watch and thank you very much um a, always a learning experience when I put things together, let me tell you. All right, I think this one can go on next if I'm right, because I love that one. Which I think it's this. And then didn't we have, bear with me here. We may not need one because I didn't put the face up tall enough, so I'm, I'm fine with that. Um, or we may go like, does this one go here? No, that one goes there, that one's down. We have to put the flower underneath there yet. And then we put one. Okay, so I'm going to end up having probably an extra one, and I'm okay with that. It's just, the way I didn't put the eyes and the face up far enough, but, and I, that doesn't bother me at all. So, we're going to put this, though, down. How cute is this going to be? And you could change out the flower colors. I just... 
Like I said, I'm using up papers in my stash. I had this printed from a previous something or other, who knows, and so just what I chose to work with. And I need to put, and now that flower is going let's see, on the front. This this extra flower is going up here. So I'm gonna put this piece down. And I'm choosing my greens just to kind of stagger between patterned and non-patterned okay and I'm actually putting this piece I'll show you from the back off the piece it's it's not matching up um, and that doesn't bother me at all either and then this will go on and if I manage to get glitter on there more power to me right so that was my plan no, I'm just going to put this little green down a little bit further, too. So, again, off the back. Doesn't bother me. Now, let's put this piece in. And this goes over here somewhere. And hope I don't get the whiskers in there. And I want to put that down fairly far and the other paw is going on top of the flower so if you want it you could certainly put this in I don't I'm not going to I, I just too much done but want to put that in Oh, this came together. It's just, I just think it's going to be precious. I'm putting it on. Let me finish this before I try to explain to you because something on there. I will uh, mess it all up. I don't want to do that either. That is. Um, let's see, where is this going? It's going about here. Yep. Now, I just screwed up. Just a moment. I'm going to see if I can. Well, I didn't really screw up, but I just thought of something. I think I can fix it yet. I'm not recutting, so yeah, I did. I can fix it. Oh, and his paws popped up. And when I say popped up, the uh, nose and the little paws are going to be just popped up on one millimeter foam tape. Just because that's what I grabbed. It's it. There's no specific reason for it. By the time I get done doing a um, easel card out of it, it'll still have to go special postage, and that's fine. Sorry, I'm kind of out of frame here. Before I forget, if you have questions, please do leave a comment. I get back to you usually fairly quickly. Um, if I don't have an answer, I try to find something or, you know, check with someone else that might have some information. Let's bring that down a little bit. 
But I do try to get back to you still. Or get some kind of help. Okay, so I managed all that greenery without just the one piece not needed. But what I'm doing is I'm doing an A2 easel card. Uh, let's see, it would be horizontal style. So this way, not a portrait, but uh, yeah, horizontal, I don't know. Anyway, so you'll have the, yes, I'm just folding a piece of paper. That's your A2 card base, right? Okay. And then you have your ESA card part that's going to come like this. So fold it in half. So it's going to sit like this. And then this little guy is just going to, or little gal, is just going to sit right there. So then when you fold it down and flat, it's going to be like this. So she's just hanging out like this. That's where I'm going with it. Now. I did pull out some enchanting pink New World Glitter Drops. This is going to have a bright nose. Maybe if I can get it to start. I might have to go from the... Uh, I'm going to get a different pin. Um, I finally either lost or ran out of pins. It's a good thing I don't have carpet because I'd forever be stepping on pins. I once, uh, I quilted a lot when I was younger and I don't know if you're familiar with quilting pins, but they're quite long. I, uh, stepped on one and put it right through my toe. It was, oh, uh, well, never mind. It was not fun. <laughs> so I, uh, I just am pretty careful with pins anymore. I'm trying to, I, I think I might have to just, oh, maybe I got it. We'll see. We'll try it. My poor pick-me-up tool, it gets used and abused like nobody's business anymore. Ugh. There. I might have to glue those little paws down a little better. I know a lot of people don't care for glitter. Me, I, know I like sparkle and shine. I don't know, that just adds something to his nose. And I'm just, I don't know, my, the lighting in here is, I will say not the best. I can't get it, it's not as, uh, what do we wanna say? yellowish color and I don't even have the contrast on high so it's not as yellow as it looks it actually is a very much pastel color uh, this it's just not picking it up right it's really it really a weird color outside today so I could I think it's supposed to rain it could I, it looks like more like it's storm weather than just a regular, you know, rain shower. So now I'm trying to get my yellow going. And this is from Snickles. It's just yellow, nothing else. The background color you use for paper also affects the overall color of the Snickles. I don't know if you're aware of that. I'm sure if you've used them long enough. 
you are, but I forgot to bring out my hmm, other tools. The I forget what they're called, but like a silicone chip on the end. Get out of there. Again, I apologize. I never expected this would take this long. I just... Maybe not do that. I'll have them a mess and my pickup tool won't work. I will fan out the whiskers when everything is dry. I am just looking. I want to add a little bit more white for highlights. With white not pink. Goodness. <clears throat> Excuse me. Again, this is ink. This is not chalk. So you want to be careful if you're using ink. It, you want to be careful how much you use because you're not going to erase it. So Okay, other than I will put glossy accents on top of the glittered parts, that is my finished sweeping bunny from Kadoodlebug Design. So if you have any questions, again, leave a comment. Otherwise, thank you so much for joining me. Have an awesome day, everybody. Take care.